Hello. Welcome to tonight's bedtime story by Lucid Tales. Happy New Year for those who celebrate tonight. I hope your day has been relaxing and kind. But whether it has been softly falling snow or howling blizzard for you, it's time to relax now. Find somewhere comfortable, maybe your bed or a favourite armchair, and make sure you're ready for sleep. Take a few deep breaths if you can, in and out, and feel the freedom in your chest, the little loosening that means it's time for bed. Tonight's story is a Chinese tale for the new year of the monstrous Nian and how it was defeated. Once upon a time, back in the misty lands of forever ago, in the valleys of the great Chinese mountains, there was a great terror, a horrible monster called Nian. Nian terrorised the people of ancient China, rampaging and destroying crops and livestock, devouring children, bringing carnage and horror in its wake on the eve of every new year. Every year began the same, marked with the terrible catastrophe of rage and fear that Nian brought, marred with the silence of children's cut-off laughter and the dreadful empty spaces where loved ones had been the day before. And so every year, the people withdrew into their homes, boarded themselves in and swathed themselves in darkness to try to hide from Nyan's ravening moor. Or else they fled and trekked high into the mountains, above the clouds, hoping that there they might be safe. The new year was a time of misery, and grief for all. But one year, out of the murky night where the moon was shrouded behind dark and boiling clouds, walked a sage. He wandered, as was his wont, and that night he wandered into a village stricken with terror. The people of the town were boarding up their houses and filling up wheelbarrows full of their children and precious treasures preparing to flee to the mountains to escape the approaching menace of Nian. But there was one woman who had not yet begun her preparations, for she had no intention of leaving this year. Old and alone, she could not make the journey up the mountain safely, and so planned to hide in her home, and if need be, face death with calm acceptance. This woman welcomed the sage into her home with grace and warmth, comforting food and hot tea. And in return, the sage showed the woman how to defeat the dreadful monster. For Nian, though filled with rage and avaricious hunger, like all beings felt fear. The sage knew, or guessed, what Nian would fear most. And as night fell, he and the old woman settled in to await the arrival of the terrible beast. A snuffling, shambling sound. A quiet rustle. The noises of night creatures settling in, blissfully unaware of what day it was, what terrors awaited. Cool stars shone above dark clouds their cold light glinting off the stones of the road. Then, all at once, like a great curse shouted from the heavens, a mighty crashing and roaring and tumbling shattered the night. A cacophonous symphony of rage and terror exploded into the village. A gaping maw, sharp teeth, the hot breath of fear. Nian had come at last. It came rampaging through the village, 
devouring any creatures foolish enough to be out wandering so late on the eve of the new year, tearing down walls and bursting through roofs, sniffing out the warm, beating life hiding further in the heart of the town. But steadfast and true, the old woman and the sage waited, holding fast until the very jaws of the monster were breathing hot, acrid breath upon them. As Nian stepped forward out of the shadow, for the first time in human memory, it hesitated, freezing there on the cold earth, bedazzled by the bright, lush red colour that the sage had painted around the old woman's house, the red paper lanterns he had made and hung outside, the candles hung in every window. Now was the time. The sage and the old woman leapt out from hiding and crash, bang, wee, whiz. The night filled with sparks and explosions of sound and colour, firecrackers peppering the air with cordite smoke and fire. And Nyan, the terror of the new year, the ravenous, rampaging monster, turned tail and fled, howling into the night. And when the villagers returned the next morning, they were filled with wonder that not only the sage, but the old woman had survived the night's fearsome encounter. And from that day forth, every time the new year rolls around and the year swings gently into the next, even as the rat gives way before the ox tonight, it is celebrated by the hanging of red decorations and lit candles, the burning of bamboo, and the releasing of fireworks and firecrackers into the night to frighten away the terrible Nyan and keep the world safe. Good night. Sleep well. Happy New Year. And I will see you soon for another bedtime story. <laughs>